Taking notes in med school is, in my opinion, a waste of time. This is coming from a final year medical student I'm due to qualify as a doctor in six months time. And in the past four and a half years, I've had hundreds of lectures and required reading dozens of core cases and countless additional recommended reading. With each passing year, the workload has increased, but rather than seeing my notes reflect that, I've gradually been making fewer and fewer notes with each passing year until by the third year of med school, I'd stopped taking notes entirely. It wasn't that I got more efficient at taking notes or that the University of Liverpool teaches their students how to develop a photographic memory. I just realised that there might be another way of going about navigating med school that could just save me a whole lot of ink. My name's Nabil. I'm a final year medical student studying in Liverpool in the UK and this is Life as a Med Student. So I started uni like most people. You don't really have a great or complete idea of the big picture or thinking about how you're going to pass your exams at the end. You just sort of, you turn up on your first day sat in a lecture theatre, obviously pre-Covid when turning up in a lecture theatre was actually a thing, surrounded by other students, all of who either have a notepad or laptop or iPad or something like that. And you just sort of pick one of those things. And at the time for me, I sort of bought into the idea that I need to actually physically write stuff to learn it. Um, and I feel like I would have got far too distracted by things like Netflix and YouTube if I brought a laptop in with me. So I sort of opted for notepad and pen and so began an 18 month journey of just a lot of wasted ink and paper in my opinion. You see, anyone who's sat through a university lecture will have an idea of this, but for anyone who hasn't, you're pretty much sat there listening to your lecturer repeat what's already written on the PowerPoint slides and you're just there thinking, well, why have I even bothered turning up? And beyond that, when you're in a lecture hall, you're not really in a position to decide what the key points are in live time. You're kind of just writing down what you've got time to write down in the order that it's being said. So that then leaves you with the responsibility of going back over everything you've written, deciding what the key points are in the context of the whole course or that particular module, and then transferring only those relevant points to somewhere that's, you know, e easy to refer back to. Uh, preferably under a relevant heading because um, you're going to have to write more notes on that topic based on like future lectures. Um, so you're essentially writing your notes at least twice, which already seems like a lot of time to commit to. Uh, and what it also means is that you're constantly in a position where you're trying to catch up on lecture notes because you've got multiple lectures, one after the other, every day. And to be honest, a lot of people that I know, a lot of my friends, studied like that. To be honest, I realised very early on that in these one hour lectures with sometimes quite specific titles, they might yield only two or three relevant points when taken into wider context. And by that, I mean in the context of something that you're actually going to be examined on. I feel like the only reason I continued to make notes in lectures and seminars was to sort of feel engaged with what I was doing because realistically, I have never once looked back over any of these notepads or any of the notes that I've made from the day that I actually wrote that stuff down. And you know, looking back on it, I probably should have used a laptop or iPad or something like that because it just would have saved, at the very least, some ink and paper. So what did I rely on instead of taking notes? Well, by the time the second year of exams rolled up, I'd had a couple of cracks at figuring out how to make med school more manageable. Because the thing is, a lot of students do opt for exactly the method I mentioned earlier, taking notes in class, rewriting those notes for actual use later, and then going over those notes in exam season. But that can actually be quite stressful. With a bit more experience as a university student, I, I figured out some hacks. The first of which is this. Look at a past paper of your end of year exam at the start of the year. Something that dawned on me was that any studying that I did sort of during the year, in the middle of the year, at the start of the year, paled in comparison to the studying that I did in the few weeks leading up to the exam. And that's entirely down to the fact that 
by the end of the year, you're looking at everything that's come before it in, in context. And it's easier to figure out what the high yield information is and to filter down your workload. Now, by looking at your past exam papers at the beginning, you can quite easily spot what questions get asked a lot and what are the real key bits of understanding and knowledge that you need. So as the year goes on, you can spot which parts of your lectures and seminars don't actually need paying that close attention to, uh, as well as the bits that can be very helpful to have a thorough understanding of. Secondly, the effort of making, you know, really concise notes that are, look pretty and are easy to access all under headings and in folders, that effort's actually already been done for you. This is a point that I touched on in one of my previous videos, five things I wish I knew before med school. If you get into the habit early on of sort of getting involved with student societies, many of those societies focus on providing study resources for students and they'll be shared on Facebook groups or, you know, shared Dropbox folders and things like that. Essentially, the, the work in having a set of streamlined notes to look over in exam time, that work has already been done for you. And, and actually in my third year of med school, the extent of my sort of prep for the exams was a month using study tools that were pre-prepared for me and two textbooks, one with knowledge and one with questions. And my third year exams were smooth sailing. Essentially what I found was that with time, my sort of med school note taking transitioned from, you can see here, page with a lecture title and notes that I just made clearly in the order of the slide, the PowerPoint presentation to essentially just, okay, I've had an attempt at some questions here and I'll just put some surrounding bits of knowledge that I've missed out on. Now I'm sure that traditional note taking is still more appealing to a lot of people. I'm by no means suggesting that everyone should scrap the idea of, of taking notes in that way. There is evidence to suggest that it might help with retaining information and facts for, for certain people. But for me, I don't think I, I could ever go back to take notes uh, in the middle of a class and then re-review those notes and continuously condense them and make them more concise for the purposes of, of studying. Because for me, I just found that it didn't really benefit me too much. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found some of the tips in here helpful as always thanks for watching and i would appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content So that then leaves you with the responsibility of after the lecture. So that then leaves you with the, so that then leaves you with the responsibility of going back over everything you've written, deciding what the key points are in the context of the whole course or that particular module, and then transferring only those relevant points to somewhere that's you know e easy to refer back to, uh, preferably under a relevant heading. Um, because you're going to have to write more notes on that topic based on like future lectures. Um, so you're essentially writing your notes at least twice, which already seems like a lot of time to commit to. Uh, and what it also means is that you're constantly in a position where you're trying to catch up on lecture notes because you've got multiple lectures, one after the other, every day. And to be honest, a lot of people that I know, a lot of my friends, studied like that or went about went about things like that a lot of, a lot of people I know actually did that did did actually did exactly that